sound Living with no one to please A fish in the ocean River in motion They're living wild and free You've got one life to go live Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create your own strappy bandeau. And first you will need a bandeau and it has to be a pretty thick one. This one's from PacSun. And yeah, it has to have a pretty wide um, just bandeau part to it. And then you're going to need some braided elastic. And I just got this from Joann's. And they have a bunch of colors, but I prefer black, so whatever you want. And then you're going to need some thread. This is actually elastic thread, but I would use regular thread. And then scissors and some needles. So let's just get started. First, you're going to want to cut your bandeau right in half. And this is because I'm going to like put this around my body and then measure it and then fold in the sides to see how much I need for the sides of my body. Then I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to pin along the sides of the bandeau after I measured it. And we're doing this so we can sew it in. And then I'm going to take some black needle on a black <laughs> black thread on a needle. And I'm just going to sew all along this side. Um, because we just like measured it just to see how the big the sides of our body would be. And I'm just sewing it. And once you kind of sew like half of it, you can take the pin out and then do the other half. And then once you get to the end, you need to do a little knot. And if you're not good at sewing, I would suggest having like your mom or your grandma or a friend who knows how to sew help you. And then you're going to cut strips of elastic after you measure them. And you're going to cut four to the same length because I used four. You can use three or four. It really depends on how big your bandeau is. And then you're going to pin all of those on the side of your bandeau and make sure they're equal length apart. If you want to get really um, precise with it, you can measure the lengths apart, but I just kind of guessed. And then you're going to start sewing all along the edges of those and um, just like around them, if you can see how I did it on the two before that. Once you're done sewing all the elastic bands to one side, you're just going to pull them and bring them over to the other side and pin them and then you're going to do the exact same thing to that side. Just keep sewing it along and don't forget to sew it along the inner side as well. Not just like the side that you pinned but also the side closest to the other side. Um, and after you sew those, that is it. So you are done with your bandeau. And I think it's so cute and it only took me like 30 minutes to do, which is pretty good because I will be wearing this a lot. I think it's adorable. And you can wear it with a bra or no bra. It really depends how you want to. And then this is how I style it. Show me the way. My hot pink shorts, or not hot pink, they're like a hot pink coral shorts are from American Eagle. My shirt is from Target and it's basically a see-through um, open back shirt and my bandeau is obviously a DIY. And yeah, I like the shirt with it because it is the open back and it's also see-through so it really, really shows off the bandeau. And then my shoes are from Steve Madden. So for this outfit, my jeans are from PacSun and they're actually jeggings. And I just have the bandeau on under this kind of open back top. And my Sperry's are Sperry's and they're like a hot pink coral color. And I love wearing these with jeans because I don't like wearing like flip flops with jeans so I mostly wear Sperry's. And this outfit is more for like if it's not as hot out but still like a breeze I guess. And my shirt is from Brittany Melville, and it's just like a white, very flowy shirt, and I love the little circle in the back of it, so it's perfect for this bandeau. And that's the last outfit, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!